Welcome to Tech Trench, where we show you how to become a computer technician. Today we're going to show you how to run JRT, or the Junkware Removal Tool. What this is, is a piece of software that helps remove any junkware on the machine. You can download it at bleepingcomputer.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. So, once it's downloaded, we suggest putting it on your jump drive as another tool to help your customers. We'll go ahead and run it. You'll be greeted by the disclaimer and it says press any key to continue. When you start the process it will instantly create a registry backup. Once the backup is complete it will go on and check the startup. It will check your modules, the processes, services, files, folders, registry. It will do a quick and a deep scan and then it will check the installed browser as well as will clear the event viewer logs. Depending on the speed of your computer and the size of the hard drive, it may take anywhere from a few minutes to an hour to run. I find that it's typically about a five to ten minute process on the machines that I run it on. We'll go ahead and let this run. Once it's done, it will create a JRT log file that it puts on the desktop so make sure you remove that when you're complete. I like to put it in my customer files so that I can go back and see the last time I ran it as well as what problems it had from before. That way if my customer gets reinfected we can try to find the problem. Also during this scan you may see that the desktop disappears as you can see in the disclaimer above, it will close the desktop and reopen it. Again, on the registry, it does a quick and a deep scan. This is usually the longest step in the process. After the registry, it does check your browsers. So make sure when you run this, all browsers are closed.
So now that the registry scan is complete, it will go through and again it will check the browsers. Typically there are the three browsers that it checks, Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Chrome. So again, once it's done with the final browser, it will clear the event viewer logs, as well as create a log file on the desktop. So as you can see here, it created the log file and it showed us the different steps that it took on this computer. So again, I usually save this file to my customer file and you can see there was a search snoop installed as well as some registry crease through Microsoft that were cleared. If you like this video, please push the thumbs up. If you have questions on how to run some software or if there's software you recommend, please leave a comment below and please subscribe.